Welcome back. So, now we have the new FMC, which uh, already can import from the flight planner. Normally what we would do is uh, input a, a route directly here. From, let's say, Zurich to Frankfurt. Right, but that gives us uh, a direct line, which is maybe not that nice and also not that fun to fly with the autopilot. So let's remove this again. And then we can go to the flightplandatabase.com slash planner. I will put this in the description. And let's put in the route here. Departure. That is the age. Sometimes it uh, takes a little to EDF. There it is. Frankfurt. Then we can set a few parameters like the ascent FPMs, descent FPMs, the cruise flight level. I leave this like that for now. And we can start generating. <laughs> uh, all right. So Right, so now it's finished. Um, so now we will get a, a page with our direct route. For now, we can scroll to the bottom and then look for a proper route, which uh, this one looks like one. So we can click this, and then this should be fixed, I guess. Or, hmm. Oh yeah, it takes some time, so probably the page is overloaded. So now we have a good route, but we cannot really look into how this looks. But what we can do is download the JSON file. And wait for it, because the page seems to be very overloaded. There it is. Now we can go back to our game, and there is a button now, open flight plan file. What we do is just load the file we just downloaded, and there it is, our flight plan. We need to fix the altitude for all the waypoints, um, which I didn't really like. So um, there is a new alternative now. So this is the way you would do it in vanilla, right? With open flight plan, now you would fix all the heights and speeds, and then you can go. Um, let's clear this again, and let's use something even more complicated, <laughs> Simbrief. So you need to make an account there, you will get a username, and then you can generate flights here. And if you, so let's do this now, generate a new flight from LSLH, EDDF. We don't have an airline, no flight number, but we have a plane. Let's take a 777-300. And here we get our route with an alternative even, in case the weather is bad. <laughs> so um, what I'm interested in is I don't want to take this route to take off. So let's go down here and check the departure runway. What I want to do is use runway 10. I do you want to select new SID stars for the, these runways? Yes. So now it will select the new departure SID to guide me along runway 10 because, or off runway 10 because I selected that. And then we can, I like the route now. Um, this looks a little weird, but that's essentially the thing we will use. Um, this ends on some random point here that doesn't really matter, but we can select this as the route we want to take. 
So let's go up here to generate flight. We can also enter other details like pin number and call sign and stuff like this. But for now, we leave this off. So now that's it. We have a flight plan. Now we can go back to the game and click on this here, SimBrief import. Um, this will ask you for the username. That's uh, my username for SimBrief. I selected in my account settings. I won't show this because that shows my email and stuff. So you go there and click this. Type in your username, click OK, and there's our route with the uh, speed and didn't really work it seems <laughs> all right so after fixing a few bugs <laughs> um the root import now works so when you click this again and you typed in your username already then it doesn't ask you for your username anymore. You can do this with a control click. So then it will ask again. And then you can OK. And now the flight plan was imported now correctly because uh, it was buggy before. So we, what we can do now, what we see here, our first waypoint would be there. Um, so essentially start flying, select this one as the next and that's it what we could do is go to frankfurt and select for example this here as destination 25 left and then we need to go down there and delete the last next to last waypoint so this way we will come from here and probably capture the ILS, I guess. We can test this. So that's it. That's how you import stuffs. Have fun.